Oh Lord, it's hard to be humble when you're perfect in every way. I can't wait to look in the mirror because I get better looking each day. This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette. These words from the country song by Mac Davis are amusing, yet they are also true in a way. It is hard to be humble, and I certainly need all the help that I can get. This is where the Holy Spirit comes in. He helps us to be humble. In the last column, I wrote that St. Augustine connects the gifts of the Holy Spirit with the Beatitudes. Now we will begin to look at how they are connected. In light of Psalm 111, verse 10, St. Augustine observes that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So for St. Augustine, the Holy Spirit guides us through seven successive stages of growth, beginning with the gift of the fear of the Lord and ending with the gift of wisdom. So for St. Augustine, the first stage of growth in the Christian life begins with the gift of the fear of the Lord and the first beatitude, blessed are the poor in spirit. St. Augustine states, and I quote, The fear of God corresponds to the humble, of whom it is here said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, that is, those not puffed up, not proud, to whom the apostle says, Be not high-minded, but fear, that is, be not lifted up. End of quote. Humility is the foundation of spiritual growth, and the gift of the fear of the Lord helps us to grow in humility. Humility means that we realize that we are not God, that He is. Humility helps us realize that we are children of God, and that all that we are, all that we have, come from Him. They are His gifts. What does it mean to be humble? Humility stands at the foundation of our Christian life because it removes one of the major obstacles to our growth, that is, pride. Yet, humility does not mean that we keep putting ourselves down either. Humility stands in the middle of two extremes. The first extreme is pride, which entails seizing or grasping importance for ourselves. We see examples of this in the sacred scriptures. For example, St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, verses 1 through 4, and St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 7 through 11. The second extreme is self-hatred or denying the gifts of God. Being humble does not mean that we beat ourselves up and some people suffer from this spiritual affliction. As we know from the parable of the talents, for example, in St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 25, verses 14 through 30, we know that it does not glorify God to deny the gifts he's given us or to bury them in the sand. So being humble does not mean to beat ourselves up or deny the good gifts that God has given us. Rather, being humble means that we accept all these gifts that he has given us and realize they come from him. Humility is neither pride nor self-hatred. Rather, humility means to grow in the fear of the Lord, to grow in awe and reverence of Him. Humility means to be poor in spirit, that is to recognize that all that we are, all that we have, comes from God. This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette.